I think the thing that I like most about what John's doing is the way he's playing this Carolines. I mean, that he, he just is not missing the pocket. I mean, he, he gets a couple of strikes three or four up, but then the next couple hit the pocket, nine spare, let's go on to another string. And, you know, he got this ball drilled up at the last minute here, brought it out, loved the reaction, loved the way the weights are working. You know, he's got the, the pin and the ball set in a certain place, and boom, boom, boom. It's, he does that better than anybody. Fools with weights and surfaces and releases and suddenly four and nine. Wow, what a that, bad break. That might have been his best shot. That he's looking at the score. The scenario. Right. He's looking at the score. Should I try for it or should I go for nine? He's got to make a decision right here. He's looking at the count, trying to figure it out. He may play this cozy and just go for nine because that would keep the count at seven. He'd still be up by about 20. Yeah, he played it cozy. He was basically, he was trying for it, but he didn't want to get eight out. That gets Dickinson life. It's 157 in the seventh for Handigard. Gary Dickinson in the seventh, down by 20. He's just hunting. And he can't get the ball to hold on the right lane, but he's afraid to throw it away from the pocket that it won't come back. He's trying to ride the oil in there. See, that's left of the third arrow, or right around on the third arrow. It's just hooking right there. It's too high. The good news is he only has one more frame on that lane. I had a chance to talk to Gary about the player of the year race, how he sizes it up at this point in time. Well, tonight would be a big key because Gene Stuss and also John Hanegaard's on the TV show with me. So if John should win, it put him right in the running again with me and uh, John Hersina. So uh, tonight would be a big key. It would be my third uh, victory of the year, and I still think it would go down to the Senior Player Championship. Over the thumb hole and the four pin stands. And that lucky, good luck piece, half a heart that he's wearing on his collar right now is uh, not quite getting the job done. Well... Anything can still happen. That 4-9, you know, popped up for John. He just hasn't had much luck at all in this one tonight. Dickinson with only two strikes and eight frames. Handy guard seemingly uh, invincible, but that 4-9 could happen again. You never know. right back in the it's a machine it's just not going to miss the pocket that's it's the just point. a machine so you put a world-class ball with the proper weights and surface right and a player of his magnitude's hands in a match like this when he's had a game to warm up and he's going to be hard to beat same thing with gary if gary had had the, the right mixture i thought gene stuss had a perfect piece of equipment for this pair of lanes well they, they all seem to pale in comparison right now though to handing good point He's got the whole lane right now. Ball sets up. He swings a little wide. He carries the light hit. He's carried that half hit tonight on a number of occasions. Well, plus, you don't want to ignore the fact he's throwing the ball superbly. I mean, every shot is on balance, over target. I mean, that's a given. <laughs> that did not enter my, my formula. Dickinson, for any chance, must strike. Gave it some room, Michael. Oh, and he barely hung on as he carried the walls. And look at Gary's face. He's just like, I got it right at the target on lane 22. Finally, he was trying. He might probably moved another board left. Gave it a little more room. It doesn't get back flush, but it is a strike. He still has a potential score of 214, which would get Handy Guard's attention. Fast eight and a four pin the last two tries on 21. He's been closer on this lane. Great clutch player. He'll have to do it here. More loft. Ooh, a ton more. Hey, see if he does that again. Looks to me like he's just giving it a little more room and hitting it harder and trying to hook the ball a little more. He was trying to fit that ball for eight frames. Watch the loft. See how far he gets it over the line. Way out there. Forward roll all the way down. There's no side roll on that ball at all. <laughs> Andy Gardner was interested. Look at that reaction. <laughs> he doesn't want to have to mark. He does Hand not want to have to mark. Handy Gardner knew that sooner or later, Gary would get lined up. Let's see what happens here. Loft again. Another good shot. Oh, and the hard 10 
And the guard doesn't have to mark. He just has to show up and keep it on the lane. Quality shot from a great champion. Jerry Dickinson will finish second in Seminole. I'll tell you what that's going to do, though, Dan, is it is going to send this race between those three guys, Hersena, Dickinson, Handyguard, down to the final tournament. That's 25000 for that last tournament to the winner. And uh, one of these three guys, I would bet, is going to be fine for that championship. One of Stunts, one of Stunts wins a couple back-to-back, -back yeah. and the big one at the end. Yeah, he could do it, too, oh, still. Oh, I'd say there's four. Of course, Ronnie Winger had two titles already this year. What an interesting year on the senior tour. Magnificent performance, though, by John Handigard. I mean, just to come out and blow away these two guys the way he did, just, I mean, just by methodically throwing shot after shot in the pocket. And I think what makes it so much fun to watch these great senior players, not only in the championship round, but week in and week out uh, as fans, is that on any given night, Stuss might have knocked off those top two, or Gary Dickinson might have gone through those two. That's how even it is out here right now. On any given night, any of these three or four guys can go out and win a tournament. I was just really impressed by this performance. He's going to finish it up with 247, 269, 247. He had, uh, let's see, four, eight, be nine, ten strikes in this game and had, I think, eight or nine in the first game. So, I mean, <laughs> there weren't too many spares then. No. <laughs> and those he had, he covered. Brilliant performance for the handyman. And Seminole tops it off with a strike, and they're on their feet, and rightfully so. Gary Dickinson, the first up off the bench to congratulate. A wonderful effort. The final score, 247 to 203, as Handegard wins his second on the senior tour here in 1993.